says it all, I'm Hakeem Branch, I'm Rob Jarrell, and today we're going to preview the Manny Pacquiao, Brandon Rios pay-per-view, which is happening this Saturday, November 23rd, and um, there's not a lot of stuff on the undercard as far as casual fan uh, recognition, so um, we're just going to stick to the main event. There may be somebody on there that you will see um, and you might like. So watch the whole pay per view because you're paying money for it. But as far as the breakdown, we're just going to stick with the main event. Go ahead, Rob. All right. So this is the comeback fight for Manny Pacquiao. And as you all know, his last fight, he took a devastating right hand from Juan Manuel Marquez, which put him down emphatically. So, Manny has something to prove. He wants to prove that that knockdown would not affect his career, his life. He's just confident and as good as ever. And he is out to prove to you all that he is still the man. And his first comeback fight is against, he's no slouch, it's against Brandon Bam Bam Rios. And with Rios, you're looking at a guy who can grind it out, very tough, loves to take punishment, loves to return punishment, and uh, he's going to be looking to come and fight. He's got a point to prove, and that he can take a step up and get into the next echelon of boxing greatness. He wants to be elite. I just think this is a wrong fighter to try to be elite against. Yeah, um, I'm going to try to be real brief with this. We've seen this fight before. We have seen this fight before. And unfortunately, the first time we saw it, which was the Manny Pacquiao Antonio Margarito fight, we were dealing with a much bigger man, a much better skilled man, and that didn't turn out too well for Robert Garcia and the Margarito camp. Um, Robert Garcia is in the corner of Brandon Rios this time. Um, Manny Pacquiao ended up breaking Margarito's orbital bone. He broke his eye socket. He broke his face from so many punches. Now, in that fight, Margarito landed some good punches, hurt Manny pretty much any time he actually did land on him, but he didn't land that much. This time we're dealing with a smaller guy who has never seen any of the athleticism, any of the footwork, any of the technical skill, any of the speed, any of the power. Everything that Manny Pacquiao does, Brandon Rios has not seen in the ring, and this is the wrong stage to be seeing it for the first time. This is not going to be pretty at all. Now, my thing is, Robert Garcia has seen Pacquiao before with the Margarito fighter. So maybe, just maybe, he might have a, a little different plan than to just walk out there and throw as many punches and see if you can hit him. With Manny Pacquiao, he tends to take a rest um, in between his flurries or even rounds. And that's what Bam Bam Rios really needs to do his work. Also, Manny Pacquiao has a tendency to get caught up against the ropes. Now, while he's shown better lateral movement, the damage that he did take in that Margarito fight, which, coming straight from his mouth, hurt. He was balled up in bed for days from taking a few bites, just a few. Now, in this fight, he doesn't want to get caught up against the ropes because Rios does very good work on the inside. Especially then uppercuts and a left hook. So, if he wants to not be as worse for wear as his last fights, or even to get his fights against bigger opponents, he needs to not get caught up in his role. He needs to utilize the ring, utilize lateral movement, and then use that blister of speed to reel off flurries before Brandon Rios can respond. Yeah, you're exactly right. But uh, don't let 27, 24-7 fool you. And... All those things are right, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it. I mean, Manny Pacquiao has been working on a little few subtle things. Like, we saw it in the Ricky Hatton fight. He's now starting to slip and counter at the same time. He was doing it against Juan Manuel Marquez. Mm -hmm. 
who is a better fighter than Brandon Rios. Um, the Much reason, better. The reason why Manny lost that fight is because Marquez is a better fighter than Brandon Rios. And he's seen Pacquiao four times. He knows what he's going to do. He made his adjustments, and that brought him to fight. I don't think Brandon Rios can make those kind of adjustments. We saw him outboxed by um, Miguel Acosta before he just wore him down. Um, Mike Alvarado, who is not the best boxer, outboxed Brandon Rios, and that's how he ended up beating him the second time. He didn't, yeah. he didn't slug with him. So these guys who aren't as fast of foot, aren't as fast as hand as Manny Pacquiao, and don't hit as hard, because, I mean, Manny hits extremely hard, um, it's, it's going to be a rude awakening for, for Rios. And, and he's not going to stop trying. So I think unless he falls and can't get up, it's going to be up to his corner to say, hey, man, we're not letting you back out, man. You're taking a bad beating, and we need to stop this for your health. Now, uh, the reason why I think Rios is going to lose is not just because of the footwork of Pacquiao, the hand speed of Pacquiao, the offensive dynamic skill of Pacquiao, but it's also the moment. This is the biggest fight that Brandon Rios has and probably, possibly, will ever fight. I mean, yeah. this is his first time on pay-per-view as the main event in Macau, China. Now, we already know time stops in the Philippines when Manny Pacquiao fights. That's millions of people right there. Then you have Zhu Shiming, who is on the undercard, which means you're going to have millions of Chinese also watching. Then you have everyone in the United States that's watching. That is a lot of people watching two men fight one night. Oh, yeah. And um, Floyd Mayweather says it best all the time. He's like, yeah, you might perform, but you haven't performed under these lights. We'll see what happens once the big lights get on you. And um, in the press conference, Brandon Real said, well, I'm, I'm nervous about you guys. You guys watching the fight and blah, blah, blah. That's exactly what Floyd Mayweather is talking mm -hmm. about. When, when all those eyes are on you, are you going to be able to step up to the plate and perform? We know Manny can do it. We've seen Floyd do it time after time. And Manny's going to do it again. And then with the uh, typhoon happening in the Philippines, those guys are hurting. They need their hero to show out and put on a spectacular performance so they can lift their spirits up and get back to uh, healing that country, which I believe is going to happen. Um, prayers out to those people who are affected by that typhoon. Um, that's it, man. Yeah. Um, it's pretty cut and dry. It's going to be a one-sided ass whooping. Um, but it is a fight, so he might land a punch and change everything and make us look like complete and total fools. Hey, you never know what happened. I'm calling it late round TK late 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 fight TKO. They gotta stop the fight at some point. I don't think it's gonna be a knockout knockout, but I think Manny's gonna do just that much damage where they have to stop it. Yeah, he's gonna learn from when he didn't stop the Margarito fight and be like, hey I'm not going through this again. I need to protect you. Uh, Margarito was also a bit older. Uh, Brandon Rios is a young guy. He's got a lot of career left. So, yeah, they're going to stop this fight probably after about 9 or 10 rounds and save him from the hellacious beating that he's going to be taking on Saturday. So tune in. It's going to be entertaining. If you think we're wrong, get in touch with us. Leave a comment on our Facebook page. Hit us up at Capital of Combat at Gmail. Leave it in the comment section of this video. We would love to interact with you. Oh, Google Plus too. We're on Google Plus. Um, if you comment on YouTube, I think you have to have a Google Plus page now. It, it's kind of weird, but it's almost automatic. Mm. Yeah. So you'll get in contact with us on Google Plus and YouTube. Talk to us because we want to hear from you. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe because we got a lot of videos. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. And we got a lot of stuff to show you and teach you. And we hope that you can tune in and learn something. Peace. This is round one and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming and gone. My fists are on fire. I perform till I perspire.
demons are in a rage Keep thinking that it's a game I kick rhyme, hurricane I told them I don't play I'm liquid Black Street Fighter Street Fighter